and it's me. You guys already know. Today, we are going through what I learned in a lesson with George Gankins. Then we're going to take you right to the lesson, and that's it. I'm going to go over everything we went in and learned about and stuff, and then we're going to show you the lesson itself. Come holler at me. Here's the three things, guys, all right? Three things that we worked on. Number one, posture, okay? I was too bent over the ball, which would cause me to come up out of it. I've talked about this before, but GG and I worked on it. Shout out to George Gage, he's the absolute legend. He's gonna take me from where I'm at now to be the very first major champion winner without using tees, all right? Here's the thing. So now, I'm essentially standing up straight, fist back, slight slouch of the head, and now it, this allows me to then get into my posture, spine angle, okay? That's number one. Number two, my biggest swing flaw was at the top of my swing, I had a cupped wrist, which would then cause me at the bottom to flip, okay? So now what we're working on is shortening it up and boom. You know what I'm saying? Just auto, slotted, boom, release. I'm arguably the number one ball striker in the world in like a month, give or take, okay? Number three, guys, and this is important, the release. Come holler at me over here, Stoney. Win Stoney and the man behind the camera. So dude, George Gankus saved my golf game, essentially. Cause now I'm hitting it like 30 yards further off the deck, like 350, striking every single wedge to perfection on the number and every single iron is the greatest thing ever, okay? So shout out to my man. We're gonna piss a lot of people off with the results coming up. So the last thing, the release. Now I used to be that flipper, right? I was cupped and I would flip. Now, oh my God, that's so good. Boom. And now what I'm doing is I'm punching through, okay? This is exaggerated, it's not what it looks like, but boom, I'm at impact, and I'm punching through. You see that, that club face stability? Okay, there's no more flip here, okay? All it is is just stability. I'm gonna hit one for y'all, and I'm gonna take you right into the lesson. I want y'all to pay attention to those very, very quickly. Pay attention, take notes. You might learn something. Go hit up George Gankus on the Instagram, on the YouTube, absolute legend, and one of the greatest, if not the greatest, he is the greatest golf coach of all time, all right? One swing for you guys. You guys already know. First take. There's no divots out here. Let's rock and roll. I'm really good at what I do. Oh all right, we're just going to rip it from the start. Getting a lesson from the OG George Gankus. We got Johnny. We got Hello, Pep's Leo. golf over there. How you Pep's feel about it? We're dialed in. We're gonna get right into this raw. So let's go. All right. So what am I feeling? Okay. So just put your club on top of that. So we're just gonna get you more straight line where you want it. Now look in the mirror. Mm -hmm. Say you're straight back. Yeah. Okay. So just round it and soft a little because that's gonna allow you to turn through the shot. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna keep that on your side. See, that's on your side still. It didn't come off. Right. Okay. You do a great job of that. Okay. So that face is squared your back line. Now if we pointed it at ball line and I said close it more or open it more, keep it on the same plane. So we haven't changed the plane, you right. follow me? So we're gonna keep that on plane. Now, from there, Johnny will take over and we'll get you straight line. Now, get him a little more laid off. Yeah, so see how that's on your fo lower forearm, that mm -hmm. shaft, can you see it in the mirror? Yeah. Okay, lay him off more. Okay, that, so that'd be too much, now go the other arm, right over there. So you are about there, so that's a straight line right there. Okay. So let's see you do that yourself now. See that? Is that right in his forearm? Good. Let's do it again. One more time. Is that the look you like right there? I like that. Okay. Right there. Now come down. Now that arm's gonna stay in front. Now look where your face is at there. See it's square to your back line? Sway. Now he'll start to kick you up and continue your turning. Yeah, so now that'll go behind. Now both arms can straighten afterwards, and that's where we'd be. Does it make sense? So that would be the blueprint of where we're at with that plane. Does it make sense? Now set up one more time. So what is like, I'm saying I like straight line. I don't really know the benefits of that. What would be the benefit of it? The benefits of straight line would be feeling like this thing stays on plane and then you come down. Now the problem is if you get it laid off or you get it in this straight line and your face is open, people hit block cut. So they start coming over the top. Does yeah. it make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if your face is more shut, you look at like burger is really laid off, mm -hmm. shut face. You look at John Rom really bowed. You look at all the players who are laid off or straight line, they're all closed face. Yeah. And you already have a weak grip. Yeah. 
which is okay. I have no problem. I mean, so would you want to strengthen No, that no, or? no, no. John Rahm's the same position, but you also have a cup coming down. Does it right. make sense? And that's not good. Well, it's just, it's not a matchup for like just turning through the shot. Boom, right there. Click it. Good. So I want to feel that clip. Mm -hmm. And everybody does it at a different time. Now start down one more time. Look at the face at the bottom right there. Yeah, from there, it's just pure pivot. And oh, you won't yeah, miss. Yeah, exactly. And that's where we'd like to go. Now, let's talk about the setup real quick. Where's the thing? So when I get you straight in the back, I, if I get too straight in the back, I can't reach the ball unless my armpits get out in the toes and then my butt starts to suck in. Does it make sense? Yeah. So that's where I've always, and by the way, when I was in like 1998, uh, I had this guy, Danny LaCursey, good friend of mine. He's like, dude, your setup looks like shit. It looks rounded. I'm all, so did everybody who was great. And he goes, yeah, but you know, we got this thing and he starts going like this on me. See this? Starts going, you need your back dead straight. And I'm like, can't get to the ball. And all of a sudden I started humping the ball and all kinds of weird shit. Like, exactly, that's because of the setup. So you have no balance points there. So by me standing up, going a fist back with my butt and then rounding the spine, that allows me to actually rotate through the shot better and keeps my balance points good. But another thing is, is we have left bend. That's left bend, see that left bend? That left bend turns around the corner. And if I have left bend and my back straight, where's my head gonna go? Down. down okay so people don't have any left bend so when my spine's rounded look at where it goes up as my left bend stays in and that keeps me where like everybody's been forever anybody who's good right. does it make sense or yeah. i confuse no, you okay yeah. so set up again so round that a little bit right there good around the neck now look in the mirror that doesn't look terrible i just like saw boom right up ball line good we'll take him up top good perfect i feel like i have so much power right there like fully rotated through Sick. Night, night. Night, night's right. Is that for him? Now lay it off too much on this next one. Lay it off too much on this next one? Yeah, just do it so you can get a better feel for it. So okay. take it to second parallel. So I'm here. And neck down right there. Like that? Yep, second parallel. Right here. Right there. Good. Now lay it off too much outside ball line. Yep. And now go too much vertical. Yep, right there. So now you have more control of what it feels like. That right there is right at ball line. You see that? Yeah. Good. And you're pretty close to that already, so it's not going to be a huge change. Okay. Cool. Only thing that's going to feel weird is setup in the face. Yeah. So I want you to just take it like about three shots. I want you to just go to halfway backwards point there and then run right through. Now the problem is, is if we close it and you've always been a little bit like this, it's going to go left first because that face... So we're going to keep turning through the shot and we're going to see what it feels like, okay? So just flex that thing halfway back and then pivot. Good. That's good? Yeah, beautiful. Am I too far away from the wall? You can get a hair closer, yeah. That would be way better right there. Didn't pop. Go halfway back. Johnny will help you. you Got to get it. So I'm only going to parallel. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. And it's just going to be a little halfer first and you're going to get a trap ball right there. Start again. Good. Now go and rip one. Good. It's okay. Go again. Watch when he does. He's going to start trapping the shit out of it. He flexed it. Oh, that's actually pretty good. He'll get that in two seconds. Again. Give him the field. Game. Take him through the bottom. Mm-hmm. Bro, his swing looks kind of sick. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's pretty square. Turn. And now extend the body and punch that arm. There you go. Good. Soften him up. Like that? Yep. So, come here. I think I'm not popping it. It's okay, you will. You don't really have to pop it. The fact is if we close it a little bit, then it'll be, look at that, it's more laid off right there. See that? Mm -hmm. That looks sick, six. Look at how good your exit is now. See how different that looks? It's crazy. It is. But it's, that'll take you a second to get used to, but that, I don't see any fucking hump in <laughs> That looks pretty badass for a little half of it. I mean, it feels, so different. Hell yeah, it does. At so first, different. the first time I did it, I was pull hooking it the first time like that. Johnny picks it up and he's flushing. I'm all, fuck this yeah. guy. So I kept doing it until I could do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So again, 
<clears throat> so Johnny, uh, he could play at a half ball bat. So take him back, it's more vert like he likes it, and then get it in right there. Yeah, so that's more of what you'll be. That fit doesn't feel as laid off, does it? Mm -mm. Okay, let's try one. Go again. He still didn't snap it. It didn't snap. I'm like obsessed with trying to get this thing to snap. Dude, his face is closed now, it's good. <laughs> Come on, kid. Give a feel again, Jay. See how easy that is? <laughs> so easy. <laughs> Again. Now there can't be any flip over now, huh? No. Go again. It's crazy. Johnny, keep getting that feel. I feel like my whole life, I have tried to make my swing picture perfect. Yeah. And it always has just been flippy at the at the end. hundred percent. But I like, I just look to try to make, oh, make sure it looks picture perfect. It hasn't been result driven. Like Got if I'm it. being honest. No, well that's good. That's yeah. exactly what, we, well it will get result oriented once we fix this we, shit. That's what Hell we're yeah, to you gotta do. make it look pretty first. So Johnny, you just take him back, flex it, and then let him hit. Good, very good. Now, that's exactly, let me see this. That's exactly what I did the first time. Because imagine, 100%. So the first thing that I ever did was I was taught toe up to toe up, okay? And then all of a sudden, someone says, hey, close this thing, and all of a sudden, I kept hitting snap hooks okay but I, I mean you just can't miss a shot anymore. no but i did hit snap hooks for sure i close it and then it would just go fucking dead left so because i would match it up it's almost like a guy who's like putting like this really open to close and then someone goes get your face better and then they still have the same release yeah. so the more we get it closed the more this will the, this will finish up does it make sense okay. so jump in there again johnny feel his up post give me a post phil is he kicking up at all no okay well that that'll be part of it so once he gets you here come down Keep turning, keep turning. Yes, yeah, right there. See how that, that feels like that more through the ball? Yeah. Okay, good. It'll feel like more cutty post impact. So, so let me see this, let me see this. So if someone said, hey, hit a shot, close it as much as I can. And someone says, hey, just take it to here, halfway back, and close it as much as you can. And try and snap hook it. I go here, freeze, and I just turn, okay? You see what I'm saying? I would feel, you see what I'm saying? I just yeah. feel like I stop there and go. Don't worry about the results. I'll get you pure in it. It just feels weird at first. Back freeze, halfway back stop. No, don't let him do it that early because that probably feels like shit. Then there. Okay, so take it back again, halfway back. Right there, good. Now go up top and hit, I'm out of the way. Good, there you go. So that's all you gotta do. It's well, now I am. Just copy what I did, G. It was like I just hit the ball for him, okay? <laughs> Halfway back, just stop him at left arm parallel and get the fuck out of the way. Right there, click it. Good. Now go. Up. Good. Keep doing that. He'll start getting used to that in two seconds. Johnny, film this. Watch, I'll hit a shot for him again. Ready? Halfway back. Right here, click. There you go. Up and go. Good. So I just tilt that a little. That doesn't matter. Watch this. You won't hit like shit in five minutes. Come here. Promise you that. So that's good right there. Then see, you still got that cocked up. We need a little more layoff up top and the thing will be perfect. Let's do it again. So I want to feel more laid off. Yeah, tiny bit. Not early. So you'll take it back while there'll be no hinge to here. It's just like square your back line like you always do. Mm -hmm. Okay, you do a great job. Then from here, it's going to turn at ball line. See that right there? Then you maintain that to the top. You feel that? Good, start again. I'll take you halfway back. Up top and go. Cool. Now he can't pull up, uh, like, what do you call it? Now he can just drive that. Good job. Okay. Go, go. Oh, 
All right, come on over here real quick, Carter. Check this out. Johnny, same map. Okay, so right there's my hip. Okay, so see there's there's sun on this ball? Yes. Shade on this ball. So if I take it to the top, this is what he's saying you're doing. See my head over here? Mm -hmm. So chest up, titties up. I got a space here and there. And you do good with the space, but your chest was over there. Okay, so he's just gonna get your chest up. So go ahead and face that real quick, face your shadow. No, uh... You can use the ball, your club. Yeah, for sure. Now I'm gonna put this right here on his hip and then I'm gonna move his on his head right there. Now go ahead and go to the top. Now see where your head's at? So the titty's up right there. See your head's back on center? Good, that's what he's talking about. Do it again. So you don't want loading or sliding So, so we'll way. talk about that right now, go again. Good, now do me a favor on this next one, Johnny, take that. Is that not staying on my left side though? I'm gonna talk about that right now. So Johnny, give him the club. Give Johnny the club. Now, Johnny, you do it. Now watch this. Johnny's gonna rock into that right ball. Leo, get it for you. Now watch the way Johnny does this. So he's gonna rock to that, see, cover that blue, that ball. So he rocks there to parallel, then he recenters. See that right there? So that's where he wants to be at the top. Does it make sense? So do it again. He moves into that ball, then recenters. See that right there? Yeah, so you move off a little, which is good, uh -huh. okay? So when people move off, they all move off at different spots. So if I'm sitting here and rocking back and forth, my first move is to rock right, 60-40 with pressure, about 70-30, 50-50, then I can slam. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I would never be 90-10 over here and then shift. Does it make sense? So when everybody, give me that club, Johnny. So the way I test people is I say, when do you want to recenter? So if I said the, the goal is to get back to where you where those those things were at, does it make sense? And I said, I want you to bring your right foot to your left, put the club here and just go back. Are you gonna stay over here the whole time or as soon as you hit pressure, you're gonna start to change directions? Right. So everybody's different. So some players start changing directions here. Two or average would be about left arm parallel, then they start changing directions. And Tiger would be above that, almost like at 45 here with the left arm. So he'd be, boom, but Tiger's backswing was slower. Does it make sense? So he had time to move off and recenter. Does so make a slow sense? backswing allowed him to... To recenter. Okay. Yes, exactly. Does it make sense? Yes, Sick. 100%. So what I want you to do that now... that something that you'd promote? Yeah, if, if you can do it. For Johnny, he moves back, he recenters as soon as he touches touches pressure. As soon as he gets the pressure over there, he starts to move there. So go back over there one more time. And you have a lot of speed in your swing. So like, Fuck yeah. Does, does that bend, is that a big... The longer that. drivers do what? They don't hit it. Some of them hit it straight, but most of them are all over the planet. They just need one out of six, right? Mm -hmm. But a lot of long drivers are a lot more over here before they recenter. Does it make sense? So mm -hmm. they're longer. But the best iron players in the world have always been really like recentering quicker. So put that back on your head again. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Okay, so put it on your head, put one on your hip. So what they do is the first move back would be taken back first, Jenny. One, so you cover the ball. See, so you're covering the ball. Mm -hmm. Now from here on, let's get you back to recenter. Just one golf ball and chest up, right there. See right there? Now you've recentered. That's recentering. Does it make sense? Yeah. So the head's recentered and the pelvis is recentered. Now you just pivot from there. Now take it to left arm parallel and move off it. Keep it up right there. Good. Now start to recenter. Head two, head two, head two. Yep. See that? That's later. Does it make sense? Yeah. So. I think you're. I think you're not a later. I just think you never. You're a never. Like you don't ever recenter. Does right. make sense? So yeah. set up again. So now let's move you off just to here. Good, like you normally do. Now start to recenter. Yep. Head to. Yeah, right there. Titties up. See that right there? So when I say titties up, what is that? That's Chats. his spine extension. Yes. So if I'm I'm here, I'm going like this. So if you watch my my titties, they're going. They're not staying down because then my head's off. Does it make sense? And then people have to shift back to center and then it's too late to turn. Does it make sense? But everybody does it different. So, so put your feet together right now and then put the club in front of you and then step it. No, in front, front right here. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then step and then tell me when you recenter. Yeah, but turn all the way top and feel it. Forward first, go. Yeah, so he never recentered. Never. Do it again. Never. So let's get you to recenter. Mm hmm. Yep. Do I can again. feel that instant. Yeah, because then all of a sudden you can just start ripping open. Do it again. Find out where it's best for you. Left arm parallel right away. 
Yeah, that's where that's where Johnny would do it. Does it make sense? Okay. It's trippy. So that doesn't mean it's right. Go to second parallel now, a little longer. Yes, there. That's cool too. That's what I feel like you do with like your driver when I first saw it, like it's second parallel. Does it make sense? So that's all I was saying. Is I felt like you didn't recenter both. Mm -hmm. So go jump in there and hit one. That was just open face, right? Yeah. Where did you feel like you recentered at? The top? The top. Okay, do it again. Let's have that happen a little earlier. Get one on the back here. It's about you. Okay, so I felt really early, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, now, Johnny, look at Johnny's video real quick. Okay. No, he hits his driver good. He hits the ball good. Don't judge right now. He'll knock you out. <laughs> Make sure you flex that a little bit. Yes. Am I hitting this one? Yeah. Let me see. I'm going to kill Johnny here today, but. You ain't killing nothing. Okay, so let's imagine I have this at ball line forever, right? Okay. So let's say that I get up to the top and someone says, you're up top and someone says, max form roll. Max form roll this way across. So there's max form roll. Now, if I have no left bend, you remember I showed you at like 45 with your left mm -hmm. bend? Okay, That's so what I feel like I have right okay, now. Okay, so now if I have more left bend, where's that taking that shaft? At ball line, right? Mm -hmm. So if I come out of it, yeah, that's gonna be laid off. So if I still had left bend, it's gonna keep it on plane. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. So I think that if you start getting, taking some left bend out, yeah, that's gonna get flat. But if you keep that, it'll stay at ball line. Does it make sense? So that's right there? Yes. If I start going like that, it's going to get outside. But that doesn't mean you need to start crossing it more. Okay. Does it make sense? Yes. Good. Yes. That makes a lot of sense. Guys, that was a lesson with the greatest golf coach. I flew across the country to see him and his team. Dude, you're the man. Thank you so much. You're brother. the man, bro. I'm stoked like, for you. You're the man, He's going to kill it. This My guy's man. good. Real that's it, good. guys. You know where to see him. George Gank is on Instagram. You're on YouTube now too, right? I am, yeah. You got to go check him out. We're going to have all of his links in the description. He's the man. He's the man. You're the man. Brother, until next time, man. Thanks for coming. Hell yeah. Hell yeah.